Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are going to be talking about all the tips and tricks I've learned through my constant restarting on Animal Crossing. Maybe you're like me and you love the theme build and you never keep the same island because of it so you're having to restart the game constantly. I don't know about you but I absolutely hate how long and boring the starting tutorial is on this game. It is just unbelievably long and not enjoyable. So if you're like me you want to get this done and over with so you can go ahead and start building your dream island or maybe you are somebody who has been stuck on trying to get three stars and it's just been a dreadful process because you can't seem to get there or maybe you want to restart your island but knowing that you're gonna have to go through the dreadful long tutorial is stopping you so today's video is for you if you are somebody in those categories or maybe you're just a new player to Animal Crossing and you just want to know how to get to the next step of the game this will be a start to finish video on progressing it quickly. But with that being said, let's go ahead and just get into all the tips and tricks that I've learned through my constant restarting. Also, as we get started today, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like, subscribe, and notify button. If you wanna see more content like this in the future, it really does help me out. So as many of y'all know, I just finished up my rural fishing town. So if you haven't gone to that dream address yet, I'll have the video linked in this video's description in case you wanna go visit. So today I am gonna be prepping out a new island save for my next Animal Crossing theme. And I honestly have no idea what I'm doing quite yet, but I at least wanna get this island progressed and ready to go. So I am definitely ready to tackle my next theme. Now, one of my very first things that I like to do, especially when I'm starting a new island I want to put all of my houses and tents just in general on the beach this will save me some bells in the long run you won't have to pay to relocate them especially when you start the flattening your island process so go ahead and just place all the villagers as many of you can on the beach or just near the edge of your map in general to get them all out of the way to make the new building process a lot more smoother in the future now some important information you need to know especially if you're someone who just wants to get the beginner stuff done quickly, your airport will open on the second day of play. Now, if you don't time travel, obviously this is gonna take you a little bit longer, but if you do time travel or don't mind time traveling to at least get this boring stuff done, go ahead after you do the beginner stuff of getting Tom Nook the tree branches and the fruit, naming your island, all that good stuff, set your clock one day forward to get that airport open. You'll know if you did this correctly and if the airport is open because Tom Nook will announce it. The reason why the airport opening is such a big deal is because you want to pay off the nook miles you own as soon as possible and to pay this off as soon as possible you need some help to get those miles done quickly and a fast way of accomplishing this is just simply having a friend fly over to your island with every single golden tool in the game also something very important to know before you even have your friend come over to just progress the first day fast and just get it done with go ahead and give Tom Nook five different uh, things for the museum, whether it's a bug or fish. Just go ahead and get that done quickly as soon as possible. Sadly, a friend can't bring those over and you can't visit any islands right now because the airport's not open. So go ahead and just get that done before you move your clock one day forward. So now that I had my second consoles player come over and drop me off some golden tools, I'm gonna go ahead and pick those up and just picking them up and putting them into my inventory means I'm gonna get the extra miles. Also, quickly we'll take a photo because that's also a miles reward that you can get and once we get that done wait until you see how many miles we get just from those golden tools this is why i encourage you to do this method because you're going to pay off your nook miles loan so fast also i encourage you to communicate with your friend or if you're someone like me who has multiple consoles to bring over materials to get that shop crafted as soon as possible so you don't have to go hunt for the materials so you get the shop placed immediately and also have them bring you every possible item you might need for the starter villager homes now the starter villager homes are super painful to do so having already crafted items just speeds up that process a lot quicker so basically get all those things together just to get all of that boring stuff finally done I also personally love having a friend or my other console bring me some extra bells just so I can pay off the home loan a lot quicker because as you pay off your home 
home loan, you're gonna get more miles. And obviously miles are really important to redeem stuff from the ABD. So that is another helpful thing that I love to do through the tutorial process. Now back to the friend visiting your island, another useful thing I had a friend do, especially before I had the luxury of my modded console or my other consoles that I own in general, I would have my friend drop me off inventories of flowers. You're gonna need this for the three star rating in the future. So roughly four inventories of flowers. So if you have a friend whose beach is literally overloaded with flowers, tell them you need them now. Have them come bring them over to your island and place them throughout the whole entire island. Doesn't matter where, just throw them in a random spot, let them do their thing. It will be a pain in the butt obviously to dig them up later, but that's what friends are for, right? So they can help you dig them back up. So place four inventories, roughly of flowers. This is still my go-to method from my previous video. And the next thing we're gonna be testing in this video to confirm to see if it actually works is instead of placing four inventories of items to get to three stars very fast, which you can still do by the way if you want to, but if you hate cleaning up and decluttering all this mess to get to three stars, I think you're gonna really love this next tip, which is using mannequins. Now, the great thing about mannequins is they are a custom design. You can delete them and replace them as often as you like. And the great thing about this is when you change the design or delete it, the mannequins go poof right off your island, which means no cleanup. So here is what I'm gonna test today. I'm gonna put mannequins. I'm gonna try to do roughly four inventories worth of mannequins. I'm not sure if that's the exact number you need to for them, but from personal experience, three to four inventories of items is what helped me get to three stars really fast. So I'm just gonna assume that that is the amount of mannequins that I need. Now, if you go through this process with me today and you get the exact number of mannequins, let me know in the comments and I will add that to the video's description. But before we can fully focus on getting three stars super fast, I'm gonna go ahead and just progress my save a little bit more. And it's honestly super straightforward. The game guides you through the whole process, but I'm gonna get the extra plots onto my island that I need to fill up for more villagers to increase the star rating. Then I'm gonna go ahead and place the flowers, the four inventories full that we mentioned earlier in this video onto my island. I'm also gonna go ahead and place my campsite, get my campsite villager moved in and then we should be ready to start progressing towards the three stars. Now, I'm not gonna stress or worry too much about what villagers I have since I'm gonna make them move out anyways regardless, but if you are somebody who is low on Nook Mile tickets, maybe your friend couldn't drop you off some in the beginning of this video, take advantage of the free Nook Miles ticket in the airport and go get one of your villagers to move in and island hop. Now, I would also suggest taking some extra Nook Miles if you absolutely have to, to get some more Nook Mile tickets in and do some more island hopping. But again, I definitely recommend having a friend bring you just a crud ton of Nook Mile tickets. That way you can get some of your dreamies already living on your island. And again, some helpful information to know too at the very beginning when your Dodo Airport actually opens, you can actually island hop for the three starter villagers. You get a normal, a lazy, and a peppy villager only on the mystery islands. But in my opinion, it's totally worth island hopping still. That way you don't have to risk uh, villager you don't like moving onto your island. And now we have officially hit a three star island. KK Slider is officially coming to our island. I'm so excited about this, which means now I can finally start testing out some new themes for our channel. And now that this process is finally done, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the mannequins. And I'm so excited about this as I feel like if you hate cleaning up your island, this is such an easy method to get three stars super fast. I absolutely have no idea what this island is gonna be yet. I do have a Hawaii theme already prepped out and ready to go, but I'm not sure if I'm ready to start it quite yet, but I will definitely be testing it later this week. But as for this island, no idea what theme to do. I do have a lot of different theme ideas planned. It's just if I'm ready to finally tackle them. I go through this very weird trial phase after I finish an island. So definitely bear with me as I mess around with different themes and different ideas to kind of see what I'm in the mood for. Anyways, I hope that this video was super informational and helpful to someone out there let me know if this video helped you out in the comment section below definitely don't forget to also like this video as it really does help me out with the youtube algorithm anyways thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day i'll see you next video